By supporting the Hood Sprite Endangered Species Center, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. Hello and welcome back. You're joining us in the kitchen and we're joined this morning by junior food editor at Drum Magazine, Ulungi Lin Tlantla. Kunjan, this is Wami. Yeah, Pilun Jan. Yeah, It's good to have you here. Thank you. She's brought us a very, very interesting recipe. Indeed, a mixture of different flavors that I would have never imagined working well together. You, do you do these crazy ideas very often? I do. I like to come up with interesting and different flavor combinations, something unexpected, mm -hmm. but then when you kind of taste it all up, it just works. And I was saying to her just now that for somebody who works in the food industry, her nails are very well kept, like they're glistening <laughs> with colour and perfectly shaped. But anyway, let's get to the cooking part of things. What yes. are we making? We are making a coconut and mango crab soup. Listen to that. Coconut mango crab. Just the, the sound of that is just, ooh, okay, cool. Yeah. So what are the ingredients that we need for this? Okay, we've got some sesame seed oil, mm -hmm. some red curry paste, red peppers, coriander, crab meat, spring onion, a um, bit of fish, fish sauce, fish stock and coconut milk. Then we'll end off with some mango. Oh my word, let's get cooking. This cool. might just take us a while. Okay, just gonna start with our sesame oil. Sesame oil in a hot, hot pan or hot pot? Hot, medium, nothing too heavy that you can't handle. Mm -hmm. Just That's the key thing, just always work with something. Well, there we go. Sorry, got me all jumpy. Don't be afraid of cooking, don't be afraid of the pot. Okay, don't be afraid of the pot. That's the yes. lesson of the day when it comes to cooking. Okay. So as you can hear, the sizzle of the pan lets you know that you are really, really getting ready and getting busy in the kitchen. Okay, we just added our curry paste and our red peppers. Mm -hmm. Gonna add to that our coriander. Uh -huh. So at this stage, you shouldn't be really too scared of anything burning? No, not at all. Okay, just kind it's of, kind of a, it's a very quick recipe. Once you've kind of got everything into the pot, yes. then just leave it to kind of just mellow and cook into itself. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, just by the way, Lungile has, uh, I think, a bit of a, a fascination with Bob. <laughs> because um, <laughs> she was like, uh, is that a real dog on your couch? I'm like, uh, yeah, he, his name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so what do, what do you think of our celebrity dog, Bob? Um, Bob, interesting, very. <laughs> Very interesting. I've never met a celebrity dog. So you should follow him on Twitter then. I will definitely do that. I will follow Bob on Twitter after this. <laughs> Brilliant. So the, the fish stock has gone in. We had our fish sauce. All of the greens have gone in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now we're just kind of simmering this down. If you want to kind of have a bite to your green pepper, then you know put it in towards the end. But obviously some people like it a bit softer. Yes. I mean, fish sauce always has that strong pungent smell that makes you wonder. Ooh. What am I doing? But at it, the end of the day, the result is good. Result is always good. Okay, what is that that, that just went in? It looks like amas. <laughs> it looks like amas, but it's coconut milk. Coconut so milk. when you kind of open the tin, don't think, ish, my tin's gone bad. <laughs> so <laughs> your tin hasn't gone bad, it's fine. Just shake it up and just pour it all in. It will come together. Lovely. Yeah. I get what you're saying about how easy this is. It's just all, once you've got the, all the ingredients ready, you just pop them into the pot and you're well on your way. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, if you want to get that ingredients list, SMS the keyword soup to 33728 and you'll get it sent to your mobile phone. There we go. Just kind of work it in there. Crab meat. Yes. You're gonna, have, you're gonna add it in last because you don't want to overcook your crab meat. Uh -huh. um, with any fish, you don't want to cook it for too long. Mm -hmm. It comes dry and then, yeah. That's how we just yeah. this in the meanwhile. You, you see, I put me to work, I'm a good man. I will you know? put you to work just now. Just there. All right, so you kind of just work it in there. Yes. And, uh, and by the way, if you just joined us, we're making a coconut mango crab meat soup. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Got it right. Okay, cool. Right. So in the meantime, what happens on that side of the table? Okay, I'm going to carry on stirring and you're going to do that Oh, for me. okay, cool. Yeah. We'll do. So we have here... We've got mangoes. Mangoes. Yes, and that some coriander. Oh, fresh mangoes, always beautiful. Oh. Lovely, sweet. And by the way, let us know on our Facebook page, what kind of fruit do you like cooking with? What's your favorite kind of fruit to cook with? And this is? Coriander. Coriander. Put a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, with then the stalks with, and everything. With the stalks and everything. That much. That's fine. Okay, cool. We'll add a bit more if we need to. All righty then. Let's get blending. So. So do you want it to be kind nice of a? And make it nice and cool. Okay. Yes. I think this is kind of that's the right consistency. Yeah. There might be some chunks in there. Hold on, let's have a look. You could be a little chef yourself. Oi, a little chef, no bother. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, there we go. Mm. Right. Oh, you because I'm I'm always wanting to sharpen up my, my Zulu. And yes. I've been doing that with Zola. Now that you're here, you know, I might as well. <laughs> fruits. Yes. Fruits in Isi Zulu. Yes. What 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 is it? What is that? 
fruits. Yeah. Um, please don't say ama fruits. Because <laughs> that would just disappoint me greatly. Please, ama fruits. <laughs> what is, or for instance, what's a mango in Suzuki? E mango. Okay, really? we'll kind of go. We'll, Come we'll, on. Okay. <laughs> the fruit and vegetable is it hello? Is it hello? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you've got your fruits and vegetables. All right. So what do we do with this? Okay, you're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes uh -huh. and then it starts looking like this. Uh huh. Lovely nice. soup here. Yes. And then Cisotella is it hello inside Ipo. No, we don't do that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why she's the chef. There goes our soup. You said for how long is, is it going to be in the pot? About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Nice, quick and easy. Yes. There you have it. Wow. It's looking amazing. Okay. I learned yesterday after a failed attempt at describing something delicious in Isizulu. Yes. You say, mm -hmm. something like that. Does that sound right? Yes. Amati. Yes. All right. Okay. And then, we are now just going to sprinkle a bit. Just to give it a bit of a bite. Just a bit of a bite. Yes. And then we're going to take isitelo, or in this case, mango. And just put. You know what I like about that? Dollop of that in. That mango sinks right down, sinks right down to the bottom. So it's a bit of a surprise yes. when you have it. So this is going to go onto our blue plate. I'm going to put it over there and I'm going to taste it just, just now. And thank you very much to Sis Lungile. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to have you back. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so try this out at home. Let us know what you think of it. Try out your own little recipes with different kinds of fruit and share them with us as we'll hear on Espresso. Lots more to come. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Thanks. Cape Town and Josie, are you ready for another amazing Sasco Espresso baking boot camp? In our next series, Chef Zola and Caitlin reveal the art of baking the perfect white chocolate cheesecake and beautifully iced sugar cookies. Cape Town viewers, join us on the 15th of September at the Capsicum Culinary Studio and Joburg viewers on the 22nd of September at the Pick and Bake Good Food Studio. For Cape Town bookings, email baking at expressoshow.com or call 021-430-9700. And for Joburg bookings, email goodfoodstudio at pnp.co.za or call 011-998-3310. If you love the sound of blenders and whisks, don't miss the Sasco Espresso Baking Bootcamp.